Hi there, Libran. Thanks so much for tuning in, Amastro Girl. And we're looking at January 12 through January 18. And although I'd like to say it's the calm before the storm, because next week we have a super moon, a full moon, and we also have Mercury going out of phase or retrograde in Aquarius, which isn't going to be great for you. We also have this week Mars moving out of Aquarius and into Pisces, your sixth house of hard work, health, well-being and service to others. So for those of you who are in any sort of occupation, like a nurse or a doctor, where you're, you are really of service to others, even a personal assistant. I mean, we, whenever you have a job and you have a boss and you're trying to make money, it's kind of a it's kind of a hard thing to explain. Service to others is, you know, for me growing up in Australia, it is a public service. I don't know what they'd think about me saying that. People who work in the post office because let's let's face it, <laughs> the service is hardly they don't seem to look upon it as that. Um, I live in the US now and they're worse here. It's like, oh my goodness, you go in there and you almost have to beg for a stamp. So I think service to others is a strange thing, but that's what the astrology books sort of say the sixth house is, and I've never quite understood what that means. But I also think it means that if you do something for somebody, you know, maybe you take care of the elderly or, you know, you go and buy milk for your next door neighbor because they can't do it, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, that's your sixth house. And it's hard work and it's health and it's beauty as well. So that's what you'll be focusing on for the next five weeks. You'll have more energy. You'll want to work out. You'll want to go on your walks. You'll want to go swimming wherever you are if you, if you can. And it's really important that you make sure that the physical side of you is being looked after because the next couple of weeks are going to get a little bit rough for sure especially with Mercury making its first retrograde journey for 2015. Now Mars in Pisces meets up with Saturn in Sagittarius on Monday. And trying to do anything productive under the influence of this Mars in conflict with Saturn is like trying to swim with weight, weights on your leg. It's not easy. Your best bet is to swim with the stream and not try to swim upstream or against the current or go out when it's really windy. You know, I'm being very um, surfy right now. I'm not quite sure why. Um, but just if something seems too difficult or someone seems too difficult and it looks like it's going to be all hell let loose to get things changed or have people come around to your way of thinking, leave it that way. Maybe that means that you're just going to be a Libra, nod your head and say, sure, that's fine. And then, you know, the next time around, you might want to kick up more of a stink about it. But for right now, especially if you're dealing with a Pisces or a Sagittarius, going with the flow, being sweet, you know, as I said, uh, not trying to rock the boat, it's a really good idea this week. And then next week, we have a supercharged full moon, Mercury retrograde. It'll be an interesting uh, rest of the month. Have a great week. Great speaking to you. And I look forward to speaking to you again next week, Librans.